Hey all friends, welcome to the channel, Bob here, and I've got a bit of a different video for you today. I'm different to the videos that I've been producing on Worm uh, previously. I'm, I'm basically going to be doing a bit of exploring today. There's a, a secondary task or secondary reason is to try and find a horse <laughs> to lead back to my camp. <laughs> Without what one horse is going to do to me, is going to do for me, unless I find a second horse that's you know that, that can that can breed is probably by the by but the primary 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 prime the primary reason for this video is to just explore the world of it really which is something that i haven't really done since i've kind of got into the game really um i think the issue i think part of the issue is the fact that it's quite it's, i i'm i'm one of those maybe a few people who i do not like the walking system in the game you know it it doesn't make sense to me that I can walk from, I can go off of, I can walk down here, um, I could walk on this surface here for example, at a certain speed, but then walking onto this, what seems to be, I mean, there's no indication that it's like a, it's a marsh, so this, this more grassy area means that my speed suddenly decreases to such a, an amount. Um, doesn't make any sense, real world physics or whatever essentially so I, I personally don't like the way they're on the walking system but that's fine i guess part of you know i guess the reason is then you kind of get a horse and ride the horse you know that's <laughs> that's what the horses are there for um and one of the things i kind of wanted to do when i first started was to get build myself a little house and stuff and get ready to go exploring get a horse so i can kind of travel a bit quicker but the horse thing kind of hasn't happened yet as i explained in a previous video um and I'm not sure if it's to do with like a spawn issue or or if I, I don't kind of know how the spawns work for example so if there's a if there's an, an area a square mileage or meterage or whatever where there are animals and towns in that vicinity get all the animals um, to, and keep them in fences so no one else can get to them do you then get um, do those animals? Do you then get spawned? Do those animals spawn again, or those creatures spawn again? I'm assuming when a creature is killed, it spawns again. You know, that makes sense. But if you take an animal and you put it in a pen, are you removing that spawn? And if if the animal dies under your care, you know, will the animal then spawn again on, on its spawn point? I'm, I've no idea how that works. You know. Um, I'm just wondering if it's kind of like a real life thing where people take all the animals and there are no animals left in the wild. Um, I mean, if yeah, we'll have to see. But as I said, this video is primarily about exploring and just looking at the some of the wonderful scenes. And this is a beautiful scene. My uh, my um, my uh, cottage is just to the right and down the the hill there. And the, the mountain side, a hillside. I'm not quite sure uh, when a hill becomes a mountain or a whatever. But there you go. <laughs> Something to do with meter each. I would, I'd imagine, or feet. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful scene. Looking over there, um, you kind of got a little inlet there going in inland, and more land here. You got this uh, lovely rainbow there as well. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. Today. I'm looking for these scenes and just to kind of show you things as I explore that look really nice, uh, you know, immersive, nice to look at. I'm not going to be doing any combat. I don't, I'm not carrying any armor. I'm carrying my steel staff. That's all I'm carrying. So I'll be trying to avoid combat. Um, yeah, but this is going to be a, a video of a collection of my days exploring and just different scenes and things that I see. That I'll point out to you, and I just wanted to point out that this is a, a beautiful, uh, got some nice uh, reflection of the rainbow in the water there as well. Um, this way, there are some big towns. Uh, here we go. You see, look. So I've climbed up the mountain here, and there are some animal. There are some animal spawns. Um, that's probably like a pig or something. There's a spider. So creatures are spawning, but they don't seem to be spawning. As quickly as they were previously um, when I was playing the game a few weeks ago and I know that like cats mentioned that there was a problem with spawns and I wonder if that has been fixed and this is this is what it looks like kind of fixed I'm, I'm not sure 
Um, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to follow this tree line along. I'm going to stay near the coast. I'm going to follow this tree line along. There do seem to be some spiders on the cliff here. So things are spawning. Um, but maybe there's still a problem in the sense that things not spawning as much. Or, yeah, maybe they were spawning too much before and it's been fixed. I'm really not sure. But, um, yeah. I'm going to head off into the tree line here and then do some uh, exploring and I'll be back. Hello, welcome back to the video. So um, I've kind of found myself, um, let's put the um, UI on a sec and turn it off again. Yeah, so I've, I've come to a little kind of gathering forested area of these um, rather large fawn bushes. I don't quite know what their purpose is if you get something from them particularly, which I'm not going to worry about at the moment. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, you, you actually take damage if you walk into them. <laughs> you hurt yourself. You like to use some, you have to use some cotton to uh, to bandage up your wounds. Let's just move up here a little little bit. As they're all around here, actually. Now, I haven't actually seen these before. Um, maybe I've just kind of missed them. But, um, yeah, I... They're up here as well. There's a big concentration of them here. I'm not sure if it's something new that's been added or what, or I've just somehow completely missed them. But on my the limited travelling that I have done, and I did walk quite a long way to actually get to this point, I don't remember seeing these big, intimidating, kind of triffid looking almost um, bushes. Yeah, they're, uh, uh, they're pretty cool. I'll have to investigate those at some point. Nothing much to show here again. Just a quick... Uh, just a quick uh, kind of look at the, f the forest, actually. Like, Worm really does forested areas very well. These are walnut trees. Um, yeah, you really get a sense of... Um, I think it's kind of a lighting, really. I mean, the lighting is not super realistic, I don't think. But you do get a, a real feeling of being under the ca under the canopy of trees where there's no sunlight coming through. I always find that role-playing games, whatever type of game it may be, I guess in an open environment like this often don't really get trees don't really get forests the feeling of a forest particularly well i, I used to like some of the forests in um dark age of camelot actually i thought they were really really nice and um, yeah but this is uh very atmospheric hello welcome back again so we've um we've entered a place called the Vale, which would be someone's d there's a little tent here um, there's no one else, no one logged in around me, so I don't know, um, how this works. Another tent up here, but there is a settlement just over the rise here. Um, a forge. Okay. So I wonder if this is, uh... All that chest... Unfinished small chest, leather cap, etc. Uh, um, yeah, so there's the uh, settlement token. Got some small carts, nothing else around much, particularly. Uh, yeah, no animals, no house. It's got a forge with some iron. Uh, the iron's quite high on damage, though, so um, no damage. I'm assuming this is all fairly. I'm assuming this is still being um, still being um, yeah, still being upkeep here. I don't want to. Um, Nails, just all building stuff, really. I'll, I'll, let's make sure I can put it back. But, um, yeah, so I know that I've, I've kind of seen videos of people coming across kind of like deserted. Um, there's this horrible jerk I'm getting when I'm playing. Oh, look, there's a fat bull. <laughs> An animal. Huzzah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can try riding him. 
Um, <laughs> another old fat ball. A couple of old fat balls. So there's the C there. I'm not quite sure what I'm, what's, what I'm facing. I wonder if I can lead the ball. Let's go and check it out. I know this, I mean, I'm, I've kind of read some of the plans that the developers have for the game going forward. And um, I think they were talking about a more... I might, might be mistaken, but I kind of thought they were talking about a more robust kind of like PvP, PvE system. Um, and that's kind of, I know it might be sacrilege to like, you know, veteran worm players, but that's what I would like to see. I would like to see, when I'm exploring the world, I'd like to come across stuff that wasn't just player created. So I would like to have, I guess, like more traditional MMO tropes, you know, like camps of mobs, dungeons that kind of thing you know and i know that some people might say, oh my god no you know but um yeah and i'm not sure if that's their plan so um so i've, I've got an aged fat ball uh that i don't know what to do with um you stay there fella um, we'll leave him there. I don't really know. Uh, what if you can ride? Can you ride them? If I lead it, then ride. Ah, so... Uh, okay. Um, stop leading. Okay. So, I guess... Um, bubble, 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 bubble. Okay, so I guess that I would not be able to ride a horse anyway at the moment. Um, would I need to increase my body control? Um, okay, so that looks like... If anyone's got any good tips for increasing body control, let me know. That looks like something that I'll have to grind a little bit. Which I don't mind, you know, I'm a grinder in games, that's fine. Um, yeah, to, so I can actually probably ride something. So I guess if I could have, if I could have, um, if I could ride one of these balls, then I'd just be able to get around a bit quicker, I guess. <laughs> anyway, we're still following the tree line. Um, looking over look, in the, the first scene that I showed you, looking over in the little inlet there and the the rest of the land. Oh my God! Look, there's a unicorn. Holy smokes! Oh, it's running away. Is it running away? It's, uh, it's not aggressive. I don't want to go sliding down the hill here. Uh, whoops, there I go. There I go. Never approach a horse from behind. I think that's probably uh, wise. Careful. Stop caring. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> so brutal. <laughs> I'm just in the rope. So I can't even lead the unicorn. So maybe that's like a, a, a skill thing. <laughs> that's, I feel terrible. I started caring for it and I just brutally stopped caring for it. God. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's move on. Now, um... What I was talking about, I, I don't want, I don't want to bang on about it. I do want to bang on about it because it's it's part of what I'm experiencing. So I'm, I'm a bit concerned now because things are spawning. Whether they're spawning as they should or not, I'm not sure. But I've got this, I'm getting this sinking feeling that would kind of really affect my enthusiasm of playing the game. I have to be honest that... Um, that it is possible for, for players to go around and kind of gather up all the animals that they want and not leave much around for for someone else who kind of wants to go and get their own animal. Um, I'm looking at like things like animal husbandry and stuff that I want to do and taming, but how do I even do that? You know, how do I even do it without any animals? Um, 
I don't know. It's, it might sound like I'm, I'm complaining, and maybe, um, maybe some, you know, maybe experienced players will say, "Well, you should have played more at the start," and blah blah blah. But how does that help a new player? How does that help someone coming into the game now and wanting to experience certain things and finding that they they can't because they weren't there at the start? Um, I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's not the case. And I know I kind of moaned about this in the previous video, if you want to call it moaning. But it, yeah, I'm quite concerned now. That to see things are spawning. Um, I mean, how far from home do I have to travel to, to, to find a horse? Um, and again, you know, I mean, there, there will certainly be players, particularly with animal markets, who will say, well, that's the game, you know, you come and buy one from me, but what about if I want to do that stuff myself? Um, there's an old troll over there, so the our game could be ending quite quickly. So I think I will uh, avoid the troll because I would have no way of, of winning that fight, I would say. Um, yeah, I'm going to move. I'm going to move around the troll. But yes, I'm slightly concerned now because, uh, yeah, maybe the, this is the reality. If you come late and you kind of want to get want to do certain things, but anyway, I'll carry on exploring. Hello, welcome back. So we've I've moved out onto the coastal area a bit more, and um, yeah, as you can see, there's a, a settlement down here which looks pretty cool. I think that must be a stable of some kind, is it? Possibly, um, but it does have a selection of animals. Um, I know you guys are going to think I'm obsessed with animals, and I kind of am, really. Um, yeah, so Harland. That's a, a good name. Looks like they've started to build a road here, and here's a mine door. Um, so here's what I'm wondering. These animals here, um, oh, you can use your ball to pull a cart. So I could build a cart and pull. Interesting. So here's here's what I was talking about earlier. These, these animals... Are someone else's now. I'm sure I can't get access to them. I could be a cattle rustler, I guess. I like break the fence or something, but <laughs> morally, that's not kind of not where I'm at generally. Um, but what I'm wondering is that where do these animals, wherever they spawn, when they die, will they respawn outside of where they were, or are they they now removed from the landscape? Um, how long do they take to die? That's that's the other thing as well. You know, is it is it weeks or months in game time? Um, in which case, does that mean that if uh, yeah, if all the animals are cleared from an area, could it take weeks or months for them to then respawn? Um, yeah, I, I I honestly don't know. I, I'm not. Maybe I need to check the wiki to see if there's talk about. Um, a drink from this, uh, this is the first time I've had fresh water I think non salty water <laughs> yeah no one here at the moment um, oh sorry I don't like I get a bit paranoid hanging around people's um, hanging around people's people's um, areas but it's nice to have a look there's a little uh, hutch here which is quite interesting Oh, hello. Oh, there's an NPC. Ha. Um, trade. Break a bow. Okay. Well, Merchant Helen's not really carrying much at the moment, but there's a rather... Oops. <laughs> it's fell in the water. It's a rather impressive looking boat here. Unfinished Walnut Corbita. That's uh, that's awesome. Look at that. Uh, I'm not quite sure what level of shipbuilding or carpentry you need to build that. But um, maybe this is something that I should do near my area. Um, you withdraw from the trade. Yeah, so like this settlement leads right down to the water here. Because I haven't left Harland. I might wonder if that's what I should do. Like move my deed. Because if I did this where I am, 
and I started building a boat. I guess anyone could come along and maybe do something with the boat. I'm not sure. I just want to show you the different... I think these are the different servers or different worlds. Um, these planets that you can move between. That's a lovely scene. Um, Jackal and then Haven, little moon there. Yeah, that's lovely. It's, 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 it's amazing, really, when you look at some of the textures in the game and the, the polygon and counts and stuff. It's all quite low. Um, you know, comparatively to games nowadays. But it's got some stunning scenes that you can you come across. Stunning volumetrics, which I, I'm a bit obsessed with volumetrics in games. Oops, hello, that was a little jump. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, lighting and reflections are really nice. But anyway, yeah, let's, uh, let's carry on up the coast. So this is pretty. Uh, this is pretty cool. There are two two altars here. Um, someone's building like right on the seafront here, and like what this what an amazing like spiritual area this could be like overlooking the sea. Yeah, I mean this is this this is I'm going to nick this, <laughs> assuming that I you know, um, assuming that this this whole spawn thing doesn't ruin the game for me i know it won't ruin it for everyone you're going oh what's your problem but you know that's life we're all different um yeah but this is a brilliant area um to to build such a thing and look there's a um unsinkable three has sunk <laughs> i wonder if you can go and patch up a boat and um like repair it refloat it and then kind of claim it i'm not sure but yeah but these are two unfinished orders i'm not sure what to which god so there is magic in the game um in the form of like sort of like priestly following god type um magic i believe and there are spells and stuff you can cast uh yeah but i, I think you have to pray out an altar and your you know your religious skill or whatever goes up some and then i think i'm assuming that maybe you get different levels for earning or learning spells but th this is a great spot i just wanted to point this out to you because this is a uh, this is player made and this is what i love finding in games um it would be good if the player could set something up so you got these altars and something happens you come to the altar maybe you're a, a follower of a different god and you come here and uh yeah um some spirits or ghosts or whatever spawn here and you know you, you fight you fight those because you're of an opposing god or something that would be quite a cool cool mechanic but anyway yeah another another great find so i'm not sure if we're just i'm just being lucky today or if this is common but there's an iron meteorite here um i won't go on to wikipedia because i don't want to spoil it really for myself or or anyone else but yeah, an iron meteorite falling from the sky. That's amazing. I wonder if you can... Let's um, pickaxe. Mine. So well, I wonder if you get a special iron from, from an iron meteorite. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Space iron. Can you mine some pure iron? Where is it? There it is. Wow, look at the quality level. Holy smokes, I've just got... Wow. Wowza. Look at that. I've actually got just pure iron from the meteorite. And look at the quality level. Wow. <laughs> um... Did I just mine some more? It's still hot, that one. <laughs> Searing hot. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Uh, mine. And hopefully, I, I just do this one more time. I don't want to take it all. But hopefully someone else may find it. You mine some pure iron. You 
Lights and pure iron. Okay. Did I just automatically pick that iron up? I'm not sure. Maybe I did. Um, but yeah, look at the, look at the quality level. I need to take that back to my forge. I'm not even sure if my forge is actually. Um, yeah. I wonder how long this how long this lasts. But what a find! This is this is this is this is it. This is what I love about games. You mine some pure iron. Okay. Except I haven't because I've still got nine pieces. Well, I'm happy to go away with my nine pieces of art or of pure iron ore from a meteorite. <clears throat> That's amazing. I really did not expect that. Um, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> so here we have a PvP portal. I'm not quite sure what this does. I I know you get PvP servers, so I wonder if it, wondering if it transports you to um, a PvP arena, or if it actually transports you to one of the PvP servers. Not sure, but uh, yeah, a really interesting construction again. Um, <clears throat> player made again. This would be and is a is a is an, a finished altar here um, to the god foe. Um, I'm not quite sure. So I can pray here. I won't do that at the moment. I won't commit myself to any god currently. Um, this this uh, this is a uh, KJ and Sons International. So if you're watching, yeah, that's a little raft. <laughs> I didn't know you could build rafts. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's move on. Our friends, welcome back. Um, so yeah, end of the day. I've set up camp just on the coast. I'll be drinking salty water again this evening, I think, probably. But I did kill, find a pig and kill it. Um, I'm just cooking up some pork <laughs> for dinner. This is the end of my exploration, day one of the exploration, of my, of my exploration, um, explorations, I guess. Uh, about Grizzly Adams, Grizzly Bob, I think, I'm feeling like at the moment. Apart from the two balls, the pig was the only animal that I came across. That wasn't in a pen. Um, yeah, and, and I have to be honest, you know, like I know a lot of new players, a lot of old p people to the channel, but people who haven't played this have kind of spoken about trying it and whatnot, but they're a bit, a bit sort of concerned. Um, the animal thing, I, I'm kind of a bit concerned with myself. I say concerned. The animal thing, you know, could potentially, um, uh, yeah, just mean that my enthusiasm for the game drops to a point where I kind of don't really play it that much. Um, it's um, it's a weird weird thing. I mean, there's a lot to do in the game that I can still do. Um, but I think ultimately there's a lot that involves re the requirement of animals. You know, whether it's riding, pulling carts, feeding yourself if you want to eat meat, um, animal husbandry, taming, blah, blah, blah. There's loads of stuff. And if I'm, if as a a, a fairly new, like inexperienced player is unable to do that without going and buying these things from from another player because they've kind of hogged the market. That will probably mean that I stop playing. You know, I mean, I've travelled a long way today, um, pretty much all along the north coast of the server, and I'm kind of now, kind of going down the east side, and I've also spent some time moving into the more forested areas and stuff and there's just nothing there are monsters um so i'm assuming that spawns now seem to be working okay although weirdly in the location that i am I'm, I'm in um there was a lot of creatures spawning just up on the hill above my cottage and they're now not doing that i haven't seen anything there for a while so maybe the spawns are not really maybe the spawns are still not working maybe depending on where you are i'm not sure and that in itself is a problem because you know, um, yeah, you're kind of living in a fairly barren area. But yeah, but I'm not sure what to think. I don't know if anyone's got any experiences or opinions, but um, I understand that some people say, well, that's just how the game is. You know, the game is designed so that people create 
towns and businesses and there's an economy and you know like any game like this like a sandbox game where there are no limits really other than the amount of silver that you're willing to spend um yeah you know it's that's how it is someone's called the market in horses you want to go and buy one i don't want to do that you know so maybe the game's not for me i'm not sure but what i can say positively is that i've really enjoyed the exploration today and i've found some i don't know if we're just lucky but i've had some amazing things like the meteorite for example was awesome i love that <laughs> that was great um yeah but um that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video to some extent um, if you're a player kind of looking at playing the game maybe there are some things that you'll be put off by that you've seen or listen or heard you know maybe some, some more experienced players can inform me and you in the chat if you're an experienced player maybe you're thinking well shut up Bob that's just that's life and maybe you're right <laughs> but anyway thanks for watching hello welcome back this is just tag I'm just tagging this on the end of the video. Um, I just moved a little bit further from a campsite because I saw a, a settlement, and this is um, yeah, this is what I came, what I came across. Um, yeah, I guess I guess this is some sort of ranch, and they're setting up like horse breeding and stuff. And um, yeah, and maybe this is a reality. You know, maybe this is just what the game is all about. You know, maybe you. You get in early, you set this up, you know, um, horses and things become scarce and you players have to buy them from you. Maybe that's how it works. You know, maybe that's the uh, the law of the land. Maybe, and I'm not, you know, I, I've no idea whose settlement this is. Um, I don't know what they did to do this. You know, how, how many of these horses they bred or how many they... Um, uh, yeah, how many they kind of gathered up and, and put here. Uh, it's not their fault. The game allows you to do it. Um, it's part of the game. Capitalism. Um, yeah, but maybe I've kind of found my answer. And uh, um, I obviously, you know, I there's actually some more over here. Um, there's lots of different animals as well. So there are sheep, um, cattle and stuff. It looks like it goes on up here as well. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, well, there you go. Um, there's more right over there as well, I think. Oh, no, it's just some logs. Uh... Okay, well maybe there's maybe there's our answer. As a new player, you know, maybe the game. This is how the game is designed. You know, you you get in, um, you round up the animals, uh, you breed them, and you sell them. And uh, and that's fine, by the way. I'm not criticising, but I would say I will kind of look into it a bit more. But kind of based on this, I would probably say that I can't see me doing too much more worm content in the future. Um, as it stands because this is this is this is kind of like not for me i'm not you know it's not a criticism of the game you know this is kind of like a it's a sandbox game where people are allowed to do what they want to do um and if this you know if what i see here is i mean as i said i don't know how much breeding they've done maybe they've maybe they had hardly any animals and they've bred all these which again is kind of a bit of an issue because I'm not finding any animals anywhere. So it means that maybe there are just not that many animals in the world anyway. And this is the only way that you kind of increase the increase the animal uh, population. Um, yeah, but this is kind of not what I'm looking for. I think this kind of harkens back to when I originally started playing the game um, on an old server. Um, all of this now feels old again. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I'm limited some of the things I want to do, I'm, I can't do unless I get an animal from someone else. I don't want to do that. You know, while I understand that's the way of the world, you know, you want something, you buy it from people. I want to be able to go out and get my own animals um, and bring them back and tame them and, in, and breed them and raise animal husbandry and stuff and whatnot. But, you know, maybe if you're a new player and you want to do that and you join the game, does this because you're joining a bit later does it mean that you're just late to the party and you know um it's not it's not possible anymore 
I don't know. You know, I'm sure if I explored long enough, maybe I'll find some animals. But I'm now a long, long way from my cottage. Um, I'm not sure how many animals you can lead at once. But if I find a horse now, it would take me ages to want to take it back again. Which I would, would be perfectly willing to do if there was a possibility. Uh, if that was a possibility. But it doesn't really look like it is. Um, as I said before, you know, I understand that like some of you veteran players will... will just take it as I'm hitting on the game and I'm moaning about it. Um, uh, you know, and that's just the way the game works. You know, it's a sandbox game where players can, can do this. But, I mean, if, if what I see here is the reality of the reason as to why there are no animals around, then, yeah, that's not... that. That's a... No, I'm not going to dress it up. I'm not going to say... I'm not going to try and, you know, appease the veteran gamers... It's a game. You, I'm assuming that you want to attract new players. I'm assuming that new players coming in, maybe you don't have a lot of financial cash in real life. You don't want to buy silver from the store. Um, I'm sure you can get stuff in-game. So can you find silver and stuff to buy things with in-game? I haven't actually come across any coinage apart from what I've bought from the store. So no, I'm, I'm actually no. I, I mean that point. Uh, for me, that's a big issue with the game. Um, if you're a new player that wants to come in and do animal husbandry and taming and breeding and all that kind of stuff, to me, you know, maybe I'm talking in ignorance, but to me, it doesn't look as though, if you get there too late, it looks like you've missed the boat, unless you want to go and buy them from someone else, which then kind of defeats the object for me. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that, I actually, I am criticising the game. I am. <laughs> that, that is a, a big issue. You know, how do you... I'll look into the spawn point thing and maybe... I'll look into the spawn thing and maybe there is some logic to it. But but from wandering around today, like even with my own deed, it kind of feels like I'm just on an old server again. Um, because there are things that I don't seem to be able to do um, because I was kind of a bit too late to the party, maybe, which is not encouraging or attractive for new players but there you go you know maybe i'm wrong i'll be happy very happy if someone points it out to me um yeah but for the foreseeable future i don't really see me investing too much time in the game at the moment i've got loads of other mmos to play so that's the thing you see you know <laughs> when you've got loads of other mmos to play um yeah and mmo needs to have those things that you want to kind of draw you in yeah but anyway thanks for watching